Namaste. I am Venkat Subrao. Now, uh, let us learn one more uh, very interesting and important and uh, quickest method of Vedic mathematics. This time, let us take algebraic division. This method of division looks similar to synthetic division, but it varies later. Here, I make use of a sutra called Paravartya Yojayet. Paravartya Yojayet, that is transpose and apply. In this method, in this part one introduction, let us take only a polynomial divided by one binomial. For example, let us take uh, uh, 2x square plus 3x minus 1 and this, let me divide this by x minus 2. Here my divisor is x minus 2 and my dividend is uh, 2x square plus 3x minus 1. Let us see what is the quotient and divisor we get here. What I do, I just apply a sutra that is uh, Paravartya Yojet, transpose and apply here of Vedic mathematics. What I do is, I just take the deviation. The deviation is nothing but the numerical constant whatever I am getting. Just close x and what remains minus 2 is my deviation. I just take my deviation and I change the sign of this. If it is minus, I make it as plus. So this will be my modified divisor. I take it as modified divisor. Now my modified divisor is plus 2. Now what I do, because I have got only one term here, just leave one term from the right side and put a margin. I just take one term and one term, you leave it on the right hand side, put a margin. That's all. Now it is easy. What you do, just take the coefficient of the highest degree. In this case, coefficient of x square is 2. So I just take this 2, multiply with the modified divisor every time. That is. 2 into 2 is 4. I write plus 4 here. Then again, add them. That is 3 plus 4 is 7. So it is plus 7. Again, the same thing. Multiply this with the modified divisor. That is 7 into 2 is 14 plus 14. Now add them. Plus 14 minus 1 is 13. That's all. Whatever you get in the right hand side is your remainder. That is 13 is your remainder. And here, leave this as constant term and go on increasing the degrees. That is 2x. That is my quotient is 2x plus 7 and my remainder is 13. That's all. A simple example. Let us take one more example of similar kind. Now, what I do in this is, let me take a different example now altogether. Let us say I have uh, 3x cube minus 2x square plus x minus 2. And my divisor is, let us say, x plus 1. I have taken a very simple example now. Now, what should I do? I have to find the modified divisor. When I say modified divisor, what do I do? I just take the deviation of this. That is, plus 1 is my deviation. And I change the sign. This becomes minus 1. And minus 1 is my modified divisor. Once if I get the modified divisor, again, I have got only one term. So just leave one term from the right hand side, that is this side, put the margin, then you take the coefficient of the highest degree, here it is x cube, and coefficient of x cube is 3, so I just take this 3 down and multiply this with the modified divisor, that is 3 into minus 1 is minus 1, minus 3, sorry, then you add them, that is minus 3, and minus 2 is minus 5. Again, multiply this minus 5 and modified divisor minus 1. That is minus 5 into minus 1 is plus 5. Again, add this. That is 5 plus 1 is nothing but 6. Because coefficient of x here is 1. And so you add them. 5 plus 1 is 6. Again, you multiply. 6 and minus 1 is minus 6. Now you have got minus 6 and minus 2. Add these two. Minus 6 minus 2 is minus 8. See, it's so simple now. So, your remainder is minus 8 and your quotient, start from here, it is independent term, it is x and it is x square. So, your quotient is 3x square minus 5x plus 6. That's all. So, now, we have divided a polynomial by a, by a binomial. 
and that too you please notice that i have taken only coefficient of x is 1 only in these examples so in the next part we will learn if the coefficient of x is something else apart from 1 let us say for example it has to be divided by 3x or 4x or whatever it is we will see that also let us see how to divide this with a polynomial this side also just not the binomial right thank you